Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna introduce to you guys four very essential error elements that are very useful for your everyday editing. But please do take note that all these elements are not free this time and you have to get them from various websites. So today's video is kind of like a mini review and a tutorial on how to use them. Yeah, pretty simple and let's get started. First of all, my personal favorite, most of you might have already seen these, you know, kind of arrow and titles element in my everyday tutorials and free plugins giveaway. It's from the Embato market and I believe that this is kind of, you know, free if you subscribe to these Embato elements, you know, scheme. You can always get the regular license for $16 and the installation would be same as usual just you know paste all the files in the motion templates folder you know under titles and that's all you need to do restart your Final Cut Pro and you can see that it's already over here so basically there are only few titles and all these titles have texts if you don't want to have texts included you can go to the generators folder and you search for the arrow elements and you can find that there are more elements over here and without texts and you can use them pretty much on all occasions so as from the intro you've already seen how i use this to symbolize the squeezing motion of your shoulder blades and this one doing a squat and you know this one as you know pulling motion when i switch over to another rotation angle so why do i love these elements a lot because you know this kind of uh, uh, dynamic moving kind of elements and this is pretty much those hand-drawn not perfect and i really like this kind of imperfectness in my titles how i'm gonna use them is pretty simple so first of all i'm gonna go to the moment when i want to have this kind of title which is this frame and press m to have a mini marker over here on the actual video clip and i'm gonna drag this arrow element over here and once I hit play, you can see that this thing appears and it's white in color. And to make it more obvious, you can always turn on the glow and change the glow color if you want it. And I think white color is not very good in this case. So I'm gonna choose the element color to green one. Yep, all these features can be found under the uh, generator inspector over here on the right hand side of your Final Cut Pro and you can shrink the size pretty easily like this and change over the position like that and once you go back to the start and hit play yep that's all you need to do and obviously if you don't like this rotation angle you can change it slightly like this so once you hit play it's going to have a different kind of a circling effect and obviously you can increase the glow brightness like this and decrease the glow radius if you want to and once he play yep this is kind of like a more obvious effect so this is pretty much how you're going to use them on all the elements and for the titles part it's just plus the you know text Okay, for the second and third elements pack, it's pretty much the same. They do have slight differences in the number of elements. This elements pack could be found in the Motion Array website. The other one, it's also by Enduro and it's also called Hand Drawn Elements, but it's you know slightly less kind of elements in total. 46. The first one has 49 in total. So first of all, why is it essential? You know, you have those text bubbles like this. For example, you just drag it on your timeline. Obviously, it's white again, so I'm gonna change it to say black color for both the box and the content inside. And as you can see that this kind of effect is very, very useful, especially if you have those you know, speeches, dialogues, you know, but I don't really have a lot of dialogues in my video so I don't use them often however you know these kind of elements are still good to have 
and it's pretty applicable as well so every time you just drag it on your timeline and you know change the color like this yep and you can always change the size for the text and the scale for the entire uh, element the arrow obviously you can change the rotation as well and create keyframes uh, pretty much pretty self-explanatory and pretty easy to use so for me both hand-drawn elements pack are largely similar so you might just get one of them and to me since all these speech bubbles are kind of useless to me so i recommend those of you guys who don't really need these text bubbles to you know purchase the first one especially both the elements pack in the motion arrays website do have the same name it's very confusing to me and i think it's going to be confusing to you as well but if you think all these elements are very useful you know just go ahead subscribe and download both of the elements pack so these last elements pack is very very useful especially if you're those sports enthusiasts creating highlight videos doing your you know video thumbnails even or just you know simple video analysis if you're a coach of some school's team basketball or you know football this pack is called sports coach and it's also under motion array once you've already downloaded this pack you might be overwhelmed with the amount of elements and you might be wondering how do you actually apply them i'm just gonna show you some of the simplest ways to actually utilize them first of all i'm gonna create those you know lines signaling the movement of the ball so i'm just gonna find say run so yeah go to run and you can find those solid lines so since this free kick is kind of a curve so I'm gonna use this curve one and drag it, cut it of course and as you can tell that this line is over here is not good enough I'm gonna first increase the size and go to the end and as you can see that this line retracts itself again this is because there is a build out effect so deselect build out effect and bring it closer like this you can change the color over here say blue you can always change the end cap to different you know shapes i'm gonna change the rotation again like this and bring it back and hit play yep at the end the stroke goes up so if you don't want to have this stroke length to disappear just make it 100% and change the position like this there you go very simple for the soccer pitch it's pretty simple so this is the kind of a pitch for football and you can always shrink the size and change the rotation you can either put it at a side or you can put it at a middle like bottom portion like this is just like a football game kind of a thing a uh, mini FIFA maybe so you can you know lay player markers over them over the pitch like this if you want it shrink the entire scale like this so you can have mini uh, 11 versus 11 kind of a uh, pitch over here or like mark up the danger dangerous players so this is very useful for your analysis videos especially if you're a head coach of your school team and yep that's the thing that you would want to use and let's move on to the more exciting ones especially if you're doing those review videos for excellent goals so for example this is a video of cristiano ronaldo scoring a goal so he's moving and the light is moving the stage light is moving as well so how do you create uh, this kind of effect it's pretty simple first select the entire thing and maybe shrink the size a bit like this and uh, make sure this thing is over him and uh, since he runs a lot so i'm gonna go here when it starts to run and 
you know, when this movement is over here, I'm gonna create a keyframe at global position over here and frame by frame adjust the movement of this beam. It's a very tedious process, so I'm not going to show you the entire process. And I need to first edit the text and make it C Ronaldo. I'm gonna show you the end result, which is the one you saw in the uh, intro video. So, yep, that's how it's done after the keyframing. Last but not least, you can always, you know, press Option and F to create a freeze frame. And this is the freeze frame that I created. Combine the player marker like just now and the goal kind of a. For this is run, right? So this one is pass. So this is the arrows from pass and there are different arrows, different adjustments you can do. So one of the arrow is pretty complicated because you have to have three points to create those curves. So if the curve for the movement of the ball is at the end, you can drag this thing at the end of the video like this. So once you hit play, you can layer the elements like this and Yep, that's going to have a mini curve at the end. That's all I want to show you for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this mini review. If you have any question, just drop a comment. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel for future you know, free elements, free motion templates, free plugins, and more plugins review and tutorials. So see you next time. Bye-bye.